In this video, I'll show you how to embed your Facebook posts on your Elementor webpage. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Facebook Feed Pro plugin. The plugin is the fastest and easiest way to embed your Facebook post on your WordPress website. To demonstrate, I'll be using the pro version of the plugin, but you can check out the free version through the WordPress repository, but with less features. To purchase and download Facebook Feed Pro, head over to smashballoon.com, and once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin. Download Facebook Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Now on your dashboard, hover over plugins on the left-hand side and click Add New. Then at the top, click Upload Plugin and upload the zip file for Facebook Feed Pro, like this, and click Install Now. And once installed, click on Activate Plugin. And there we go, Facebook Feed Pro has now been installed and activated. But before we can create our first Facebook feed, let's go and activate the license key for the plugin. On the left-hand side, you'll now notice Facebook Feed. Hover over it like this and click on Settings. And here, beside License Key, go ahead and paste your license key from your Smash Balloon account, like this, and click Activate. And now our license key has been activated, we can begin creating our Facebook feed. Once again, on the left-hand side, under Facebook Feed, click on All Feeds. Then click on Add New at the top to get started. With Facebook Feed Pro, you have a variety of different feed types you can create. For example, you can create a feed of posts from your Facebook timeline, a feed of photos from your Facebook page, a feed of videos from your Facebook page, and more. For this video, we're going to create a feed of posts from our Facebook timeline. That's already selected for us here, so we can go click on Next. Now, we'll have to add a source for our Facebook feed. Click on Add New. Then on this tip, you can select your source type. For this video, we're embedding our posts from our Facebook page. That's already selected for us here, so we can leave it as is, and click on Connect to Facebook. This will take you into Facebook, and inside, you should see all the Facebook pages associated with your account. Go ahead and select the one you want to embed inside your Elementor web page and click Next. Now on this step, it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook account. Don't worry, all it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on our behalf, so it's completely safe. Go ahead and click on Done, then click on OK. Now back inside the plugin, you should see all the Facebook pages that you've connected with Smash Balloon. Go ahead and select the page you want to display inside your feed and click Add. Then select the page as a source and click Next. And for this step, you'll have to select from one of these professionally designed templates for the appearance of your Facebook feed. You have options like the default, modern, social wall, outline, and overlap. For this video, I'm going to go with the overlap option and click on next. And lastly, you can select the template for the layout of your feed. For your templates, you have options like default, simple masonry, widget, simple cards, and more. To start off, I'm going to go with the default template and click on next. And just like that, we have a preview of our new Facebook feed directly inside the plugin on the right hand side. This feed is showing all the latest posts from our Facebook page that we've just connected, and it's now ready to be embedded inside your Elementor web page. But before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize this. On the left hand side, under the Customize tab, click on Feed Layout, and inside you can find options to modify the layout of your feed. Currently, we have the list layout selected, which displays your posts in a single column list, like this. Next, we have the masonry layout, which displays your posts in rows and columns, like this. And lastly, we have the carousel layout, which allows you to swipe through your posts by clicking on these buttons like this. For this video, we're going to continue with the list layout, and if you look below, you can also specify the number of posts you want to display inside your feed. Currently, we've got three posts. If you want to increase that, all you have to do is type in the number of posts you want to display, like this. And instantly, the change has been made inside our live preview on the right-hand side. Once you're happy with the layout of your feed, go and click on Save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your feed, under the Customize tab, click on Color Scheme. As you can see, our current color scheme is set to Inherit from Theme. This means that Facebook Feed Pro is automatically matching the design of our WordPress theme. Alternatively, you can go with a light theme, dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can select the exact colors you want for your feed, just like this. Once you have a color scheme you're happy with, make sure to hit Save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the header of your feed, on the left hand side, click on Header. Here you have two different header options you can use. Currently we have the visual header selected, which shows your Facebook page profile picture, page name, number of likes, and the Facebook page cover photo as well. Alternatively, you can go with the text header, which is a minimal text header with modifiable text down here. But for this video, I want to disable the header entirely. And to do this, all you have to do is untoggle it at the top here, just like this. And once you're happy with the header style, make sure to hit save on the top right corner. And if you want to moderate the content you display inside your Facebook feed, on the settings tab, go into filters. Here you have several filters to modify the content you display inside your feed. At the top, you can specify if you want to display posts by page owner, page owner and visitors, or by just visitors. And if you look below, you can also choose to show all posts or only specific posts. If you click on only specific posts, it gives you even more options to filter the posts you display. You can choose to display posts with only text, with shared links, video, and more. For this example, I'm going to go with all posts. And next, you can also add words to hide or show posts containing those words. And lastly, at the bottom, you can also add a date range to show posts that were published within that date range. With these filters, you have complete control over the content you display inside your Facebook feed. And if you've added any filters, make sure to save on the top right corner. Now that you know how to create and customize your Facebook feed, let me show you how we can embed it on our Elementor webpage. To do that, all you have to do is click on Embed, copy your dedicated shortcode, and click on Add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to, and click Add. 
now we're inside our web page and we can click on edit with Elementor. And here we are on our Elementor web page. And if I scroll down, you can see the section where we'll embed our Facebook feed. To embed our feed, all we have to do is click on the plus icon inside the container and then search for Facebook feed. And here's the element we want. Next, you can drag it and drop it inside the container like this. And then you'll see this prompt asking you to select the Facebook feed you want to embed. If you open it up, you can see all the feeds you've created inside Facebook Feed Pro. Select the one that we just created and it will instantly show you a preview of your brand new Facebook feed directly inside your Elementor web page. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live Elementor web page. Here it is, our brand new Facebook feed that we just created. You can see it has the latest post from our Facebook Facebook page in the list layout that we selected. And if a site visitor wants to check out your content, they can open it up like this, where the post will open up in a light box view that they can interact with like this. And if you look down at the bottom, you can also see that each post has a number of reactions, comments, as well as a button to view it on Facebook. And if I scroll down to the bottom, we also have a button here to load even more posts at the bottom of your feed directly inside your Elementor web page. So you now know how to embed your Facebook posts inside Elementor. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. If you have any technical issues, please contact our awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.